a big boy meal. Oh, no, not this. This big guy here. There you go. That's it. Take that big roach. You have to do some roach riding for a while till you get your fangs around that guy. This is probably the biggest meal he's ever had by far. No doubt about that. You're going to probably need to flip him over. This could be a battle here for a while. Maybe my eyes were bigger than his fangs, huh? He's got one in. I've seen this. They just roll log. They're log rolled. Oh, come on, camera. This is good film here. That roach is strong. <laughs> Not very focused, are we? Doing a little roach back riding. See if we can get you guys a better angle at this. Okay. Roach can dig in, and that's the problem that the spider's having right now. Is it's got to wait. It's got to subdue it. It's got to hold on. You can see it's holding on pretty good. The roach is strong though. may not have been one of my wisest choices. Still doing okay though. Reposition every now and then, get a better grip. So this has been pretty epic. I was going to use this in the feeding video, but I decided to do this as a standalone because <clears throat> this wasn't really an experiment, so to say. I just figured that he would be fine taking this roach. And it's been a long journey so far. But I think he's finally getting the upper hand. He's got it sideways now. Let's uh, see if I can turn you guys around. You 
it's a heck of a battle for this this guy here. He's definitely gonna need the protein after that fight, huh? But he's gonna prevail. We're gonna have to get him a flyweight heavy or flyweight championship belt, even though he took on a heavyweight here. And I think this is a pretty good example of why feeding vertebrates to tarantulas isn't the best of ideas, unless the, the vertebrate is much smaller than the tarantula is, because you can see the struggle that this roach is giving. Let's imagine, you know, uh, people that are feeding a small rat pup or, you know, whatever, you, not a, a rat that's actually mobile, you know, a small rat to like a six-inch Acanthoscria geniculata, and it, what that rat can do to that spider based on just the equivalent here of a Brachypelma amelia that's, well, he's probably around four inches, maybe a touch smaller, but I would say he's probably all of four inches. And that, uh, the plate that we have going on here. All right. Let's uh, move on. Okay, yeah, so I said let's move on because I was still in feeding video mode, even though we're going to do this as a standalone. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. I, he's probably going to be like 10 inches after he gets done eating this roach, but no, kidding aside, he isn't really going to be 10 inches. But um, Yeah, let me know what you think down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this. This was a pretty good, pretty good struggle. Um, did some roach rodeo going on, and uh, you see how that roach kind of drug a little Amelia around the enclosure here. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, you guys know what to do. Bell's up top there somewhere. I don't know if it's up top there, if it's at the end of the video or wherever it is, but hit it if you want to get more updates uh, when new videos come out. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do. There's still 51% of you guys that watch my videos aren't subscribed. So... Let's try and try and get to 2,000 subscribers. We're a little over 1,460 right now. Let's see if we can't get to 2K by, uh, it's, let's say, the end of September. So we got rest of August and all of September. See if we can't get 400 new um, subscribers here to Erie Arachnids in that amount of time. Uh, if we do, maybe we'll do something. Um, we'll find out, huh? So uh, we'll see you guys later, and uh, happy keeping.